Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Pamela, and you are watching Pam Entertainment TV, where we remove, review movies, television series, and incidents in pop culture. Here we are in another pop culture chat. Child, this is a night, and I probably have put down a couple of videos tonight. But listen, what I wanted to go over and talk with you all about is uh, Jada Pinkett Smith has put out a new book. And she has outlined some things, and there are some things that you all are having issues and fits about. Uh, one of the issues and fits that you all are having, let me see, can I look like this? Can I look like this? Because you can tell I'm very being very casual about this situation. The very first thing that you all have had fits about is the fact that her and Will have been separated since, was it 2016, 2017? And y'all are sitting here like, oh my Lord, how do they do that? First of all, look at the generation that they're coming from. You're talking about two people that are Generation X that were raised by lower silent generation or upper baby boomer generation. They were told that once you get married, you stay married. Hmm? Hmm? And that's what they've done. They're separate. They're living separate lives. They're acting like roommates. You'd notice. And, and, and here's the thing. There are so many different cues that they've told you that they have lived like this and no one paid attention. First of all, if you read Will Smith's book, you understood that they were separated. Right. Number two, if you ever watch the Red Table Talk, you notice how they talked about that they have this big compound over there in Calabasas and Will has a home. And uh, 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 Jada has a home and then there's the big home. So in other words, there's this big house and then there's all these little several cottages on the house. And Gammy comes in whenever she comes in. And I don't know exactly where she stays. But they live completely in separate lives. But they're married. They're not getting a divorce. Now, is that what's working for them? I don't know. But that's what they've decided to do. And let's not, be un let's not act like if you come from the Generation X, let's not act like you have never seen that before. Because Mama and them and Grandma and them live the same way i don't know why we sit around and we act like two people are just so romantically in love forever amen they're not marriages people tell you when they stay in these marriages that are as long as they are they tell you that that romantic and very intense love it it fades it comes back it fades it comes back and that's what it seems like was happening with them it fades it comes back but they seem to be at peace with it that's number one i would know they wouldn't tell me if they were if they weren't that's number one number two their socioeconomic bracket they can afford to be that way I am quite sure that if you go to people within that social couples, within that socioeconomic bracket, they are probably doing the same things until they can no longer do that anymore. Here's what I think. I think they've been living and they've been fine with that because there have been rumors that Will has been dating several different people. Uh, they said that he was also dating allegedly uh, Margot uh, Barbie back in the day and that that was intense don't know what happened to that uh they said that he's been dating some of his co-stars uh those things were intense don't know what happens to that but i think what happened was they were very content as long as everybody stuck to the program but the problem came when al uh what is his name august alcina snitched and talked about and I'm not saying that he didn't have a right to do that because I'm quite sure that he had feelings for Jada beyond what Jada had. She probably looked at him as a fling and he probably looked at her as uh, probably a come up and probably much more tighter than it was. But him coming out and talking about it brought some things to the forefront. <laughs> hmm. Now, I will tell you, 
I think the people that suffer in all of this are the children. And let's just be fair. They do. And you think about it. You got you have Willow that talks about all her anxiety issues. You've got Jaden having all these stomach problems and all of these different things and internalizing all kinds of things. Yeah. A lot of stuff's going on. But I will tell you this. Do not forget, these people are out here to make money. And if they want to trade their lives and people knowing information about their lives to make a coin, so be it. We're we going to get out here and chat and talk about it. But what do you all think? <coughs> Excuse me. What do you all think? What do you all think about this situation? It's just a mess, child. That's all it is to me. It's just a mess. It is just sensationalism. Because she could have talked about this on the red table talk. She talked about everything else. Hmm. 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 All right, y'all. That's all I got. That's all my thoughts on it. Y'all chop it up down in the comments. What are y'all thinking about this? How are you all thinking about this? And I'm also curious, when you, when you leave it down in the comments, tell me what generation you're from. And then tell me from your lens, how do you feel about how Jada and Will are living their lives right now? All right. We do this every week. Every week. Please tell a friend, tell a kin, tell your coworkers, or tell your heifers that you can't stand that I'm over here making these videos, okay? And as always, people, bye-bye.